Hi, I'm Summer. Welcome to today's yin yoga practice. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a class. We release three brand new classes every single week, and these are short, doable time chunks. So you can go about your day and hold all your responsibilities and also make consistent time to get on your mat and tend to you. So yin is supported, slow, longer holds. We have a short amount of time. So we're gonna get started. You wanna grab whatever you have around the house and ideally something like a firm, thick blanket and two blocks can do. And we're gonna set the blocks side by side and come so that our elbows are on to the support. The blanket is just there to give you a little bit of cushion. As the hands come in prayer, you can interlace the hands and just relax down. You do visually want to make sure your elbows are in line with your shoulders. You can move your knees back a little bit and either rest your forehead on the props or if you're more flexible here, you can scoot the knees back even further and see if it's available to let your head come down to the mat. And that's not necessary. I want you to find the place that feels best for you. Feel free to close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. And there's not much to do now. I want you to breathe. Slowing ourselves down provides a profound gift. Pausing. Most of us move so quickly from one thing to the next thing. So here we have some space just to spread out, to calm the mind to really feel what is happening in the body, in the breath, and also under the surface in our emotional body. It's like a child, mom, 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 trying to get our attention, but we're trying to make dinner, what have you. But we do need to pause and look them in the eye and take a breath and really be there fully, that experience when someone's there fully is profoundly healing it's our nature a core need we're doing that for ourselves you can always pause and stay longer this feels divine to come out you're going to lift your head and your chest very slowly and then keeping this support, have your hands resting on top. And now move your knees back more to a child's pose position. So the big toes touch and the knees come out to the sides more like a V. So to the outer rib distance. And then you can bow. Once again, if it's hard to get your head down to the mat, feel free to slip support underneath. Raise the ground up. Feel the breath going below the waistline of the pants here. You're breathing nice and deep. The inhale flows down and spreads into the body. In the exhale, everything softens and settles with gravity. Let go of striving or trying to achieve a certain goal here. You're just slowing down. For the next three breaths, how heavy can you get in your pelvis, in your shins, in your hands? You want to slowly rise up. And now, depending on your neck, you can customize this next one. I'm going to use a block. So I'm placing everything else a little to the side. And I'm going to come flat. So we'll join prone on the belly. And take the left arm out to the side. So I'll show with the right for a moment. So that hand is in line with the shoulder. The palm is down. 
and you'll slide the block over to the left a little bit so that you can now roll on the outer hip and make sure your head is really supported there. Okay. The top right leg, as you can see, bends with the foot behind you. And I'm going to give one more option here for the bottom left leg to point the toes and tuck behind the right heel so you get this really lovely opening through the pelvis. You have the option to rest your right arm on the floor in front of you or drop it behind you with gravity, which creates a really nice stretch across the right shoulder, chest area as well. Go inward. This is a really powerful release across your chest, your shoulder. This is an area where our tender emotions sit, our heart, our empathy, our protectiveness to guard ourselves can settle in. So there is a courageous power to slow down and gently let the heart space begin to open. Feel the subtle pulsation of your breath, how the body receives it, how the body moves. It's not static, it's not frozen. Two more rounds of breath, nice and slow. You'll roll to the belly, straighten out your legs, and we'll set up for the right arm coming to the side. Rolling onto the right hip, step the left foot behind you. Maybe drop that left arm behind you, and perhaps bend the right knee, tuck the foot behind the heel. Be held, be nurtured, especially if you're one who nurtures others. Now is your time to feel how weighted you can get in your body as if the earth itself can hold you. Making space for whatever you're feeling inside, if you're grieving or depleted, you could receive nourishment on a profoundly deep level as you allow yourself to be held here. Soften the face, all the deep intrinsic muscles of your face spreading dissolving lines of tension and holding. Soften the edges of your eyes. Bring stillness to your eyelids, helping quiet your mind. Soften your cheeks. Soften the muscles around your mouth. Unclench your jaw. You might take two swallows. And two more breaths here. Breathing right into the center of your chest. Notice the feeling, the texture, the heat, the coolness, whatever is here in the body as so you slowly come out. And we'll just pause, stack the forearms, and your toes are pointed back, and just gently, whatever pace feels good, rock your hips left and right. Hips left and right, left and right. Finishing two more, then come to stillness. You'll come up slowly to sit, and we're going to end, and I'm 
going to show, in case you don't have a bolster at home, as most don't, you can use books, right, or your blocks or folded blanket on top can just add a little extra comfort. This is a lovely resting pose. We bring the soles of the feet elevated and we're going to scoot the body in, wide knees. You can always put pillows under your legs if there's any sense of gripping there and recline back. Before you fully settle, use your hands to sweep the buttocks downward towards the heels more and then pick up your upper back and pull towards the heads. Your spine and torso are long and can really descend. And put your hands on your low belly, soft, soft and softer as you close your eyes and give yourself to this profound rest. For any reason this doesn't feel good, I'm showing now you could opt to straighten your legs and have this support under your knees instead. So please stay here at least for a minute or two. Treat yourself to this gift of a pause amongst the midst of your day. And I thank you so much for showing up. Again, be sure to like the classes that you love and leave your comments, leave your questions, leave your requests. We love it all. And we'll see you again next time. Namaste.